the bubble. Burst. The money, a reality. The race for glory, engaged. Legends. This is like rounders of the Chesterfield, <laughs> waiting for the fist to sit down with us. Yeah. Amateurs. And everyone in between figuring out their path to the final table. Day four, now. The continuing battle to become the main event champion from the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino. The 2021 World Series of Poker main event rolls on. In the pavilion, nobody. But we're here to cover all the action for you. Lon McCarran, Norman Chen, Jamie Kerstetter, all of the main event players have been moved to the Amazon room. World champ is in there somewhere. You see 577 remaining players from the 6650 that began. We paid 1,000. Josh Arie leading the 2021 World Series Poker Player of the Year lead right now. And uh, I walked by him and just thought, he keeps entering on day four. How can he not be the player of the year? And who's our man? Lax Livingston, Lax. getting a massage <laughs> perpetually. <laughs> Third place finisher, a couple years ago, 763,000. And that is a comfortable stack right now. But when you see a lot of million plus, two million plus stacks, maybe you worry just a little bit. And at our feature table, once again, the 03 champ. Chris Moneymaker feeling good. Poker Hall of Fame inductee from 2019. Happy to be at the main event. Happy to be at the feature table. Happy to have a stack, as he told Jeff Black. Chris, it is day four of the main event. We are in the money. Do you start to feel pressure now? Does it start to get serious? I mean, it's been serious from the start. I, I don't really feel any pressure. I mean, pressure was when I won in 2003 when I'm playing for, you know, life-changing money and, like, literally, you know, changing my world. Um, this is fun, and if I bust in five minutes, it won't matter. I'll go home and I'll be happy. Got a great family, so uh, the pressure is definitely not the same. Um, the only pressure is just self-made pressure of just trying to play my best. You know, again, I put a lot of time and effort trying to get better, and um, hopefully I'm able to show that, and hopefully, you know, able to play well and, and do something. It's more about pride this time than anything else. What can we expect to see from this table specifically over this next level? Well, I mean, you know, you get, there's one guy at the table, Keith. Uh, you'll notice that he's going to be a uh, very active preflop. Um, he's going to be three betting a lot. Um, he's actually a pretty tight player, but he's very active preflop. I actually just bluffed, bluffed him for a monster pot before he came up here with Queen High because um, he, as active as he is and as much as he wants to talk about um, how you should stay away from his blinds and stay away from him. He's actually a pretty tight player. He, he, he makes really good folds. He makes really good reads. He's a smart player. Um, I would say, you know, out of the table right now, he's going to be a, a definite challenge. He's going to be on a lot. Of, he's going to be on my face a lot. He's going to be in a lot of people's faces a lot. He's going to put a lot of pressure. He was down to um, his final chip on day two after doubling me up. And uh, his final card, actually, he had ace-10 against ace-king and spiked to 10, or he would be in L.A. right now. Um, so, but now he's got one point some odd million, so he's going to be a force to reckon with on the table. Um, the others I haven't seen as much yet, so, I mean, we just sat down at this table. I've played about an hour with them. And uh, so I can't make too much judgment yet, but I would say, you know, it's day four. It's like a brand new tournament where, you know, you don't have the money bubble anymore. The, the bubbles aren't as big, so I can't apply. You're not going to see crazy moneymaker out here, you know, doing stupid stuff like I did yesterday because, you know, obviously the dynamics have changed drastically. So I'm going to be a lot more passive, a lot more selective. Um, you know, I'll probably pick some good spots, I hope. But um, it's definitely not going to be as, I guess, entertaining to watch uh, all the, the weird plays. I've chatted with you every day, so safe to call me your good luck charm. Well, I chat to my wife every day, and I mean, is that yeah, I'll split, I'll split good luck charm. You know, I, as much as I sort of cringe when I see you, hmm. it, you do oh, bring me some good fortune, it seems. And uh, I'll be honest, I did not think I would be back on the feature table today. Uh, you guys had to stare with me all day yesterday, so I thought today is like, okay, this is kind of my break day. I'm gonna, you know, get someone else to be up there, and I'll, I'll get massages and relax and. And they came over and told me, I was like, Trust me. damn, I gotta go talk to Jeff. Certainly wasn't my call. Best of luck today. Yes, it was.
Of course, I'm Moneymaker going, going to the Jack Ethel School of yeah, Interview you, Answers. You, you <laughs> I've done a, I've done a fair <laughs> amount of um, podcasting, and I always love people like that. You ask one question, and you let them talk, and the podcast is over. <laughs> Oh, well. Moneymaker with a big stack here, and uh, he is going to be a delight. Be interesting to see how he does change things up. Uh, and right now, end of a hand. I am go to Roja and Jean Christophe Guillet. Guillet pulling off a bluff right away. What Moneymaker was saying is true. It, it takes a toll on you to be at a feature table, and he's been at one three days. That's yeah, pretty rough. Oh, absolutely. Secondary feature table over there. Uh, players of note there, Eric Blair, Chance Cornuth, Matt Berkey. Uh, Asan Amiri was in fourth place overnight. And now you see Berkey on the left and Cornuth on the right. A lot of people left in the main event who know so what they're doing to <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> oh, man. And right now it's Berkey. Let's see how this action went. It went. Tam raises a 25k preflop. Berkey calls 13k. It goes check call. Berkey check calls 17k. Berkey check calls turn 32k. And Berkey now being put in the blender with a 205k. Very large bet. Over pot. Hey man, you got it. Is he folding this? Yeah, I mean, he should be beat. <laughs> the way this action went. I mean, it really does look like Berkey has an ace, and, and this man wants to overbet pot. Yeah, Berkey making a board. very tight fold, but... Joshua Tam from San Francisco, California, calls himself a questions. gambler. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he didn't see his board. I didn't see the board. I was just focused on my hand. GPITHM Matt Berkey Bioboard, 39-year-old pro. Or not sure. Computer science degree. Played baseball. Probably unlucky. Of a training site. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this is my dream, guys. Feature well, I like Matt Berkey, lines. and we get bio sheets to all the players, but I do not understand how Matt Berkey got a four-page bio. Did he discover penicillin? <laughs> he played baseball at a Division II school. He's never won a bracelet. I would have folded the turn. What the heck? My man. Actually, I would have threw that preverse. It's a lot of pages. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Moneymaker got it many. No, he, uh, Chris Moneymaker, who, who changed the game for the next five centuries, got one page. Uh, <laughs> Matt Berkey, right. solve for why. Listen, I do not want to shame the people who actually fill out their bios, okay? Because <laughs> most poker pros go, I'm um, from this town, I have this many chips, leave me alone. What a fucking start to this, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to build your image. So what's the difference, difference between a, a town and a township in New Jersey? I, I don't know. I've been asked my whole life from Monroe Township. Mm -hmm. No idea. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. Always wondered. Hello. I've looked at Catherine my Brandt. Did you say 10 big lines? Well, and nine of diamonds. Brandt <laughs> right now sitting on over a million. Had a nice run up a couple days ago. She was just in the 200,000s. But that's what happens when the field condenses. You're onto it. When people first came to the New World, in the late 16th and 17th centuries. They came over by boat. They put their ship in the dock. They built the town on the ship. There was no place to go. They couldn't go to mini malls. They couldn't go to major malls. They couldn't go to strip malls. The oh. town was on the ship. Mm -hmm. It became a town ship. How hard is this to figure out? So Listen, Jamie's I don't want came to talk over on the this. Monroe? Yeah, and also he's trying to tell me that there's pirates in Iowa and I just don't listen to him anymore. Northwest Passage, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Queen 8 deuce. Asan Amiri started the day with 1.6 million in fourth place. I can place. see the flop reflected in your glasses. That was funny. <laughs> Looking for anything. He better be careful about when he peels his cards then. <laughs> Yeah, she right. You can see the flop clearly in his glasses. Ooh, this, this could get pretty interesting. So, she, uh, Catherine flops just a gutter ball um, with backdoor diamonds. See that Mary out flopped her with the eight. Same flush draw. Well, Mary from Australia. Engineering masters. <laughs> also flies helicopters. I think you need an engineering master to fly a helicopter. <laughs> I'm Catherine. I'm going to continue through this turn card that improves her hand. 
put max pressure on Amiri, who we see is not going to go anywhere as he's picked up his flush draw as well. And we can see that she is again looking at him. It's kind of Matrix like. Mm -hmm. That's 75. Goes for a very small turn lead. Be easy for him to just call. I might have taken the Joe McKeon master class on just looking at your opponent the entire time Good that he point. has to act. Yeah. Heart on the end. No help for Catherine, but if she could fire again, if she picks a healthier sizing, should be enough to shake Amiri's eight. A little bit to worry about, though, when you're putting out bets and getting called and the obvious draw comes in. It's not that easy to fire a third barrel. And as Chris alluded to, the dynamics have changed today. The feature tables the last few days were happy, jovial. Now we're in the money, in the backstretch towards the main event champion. And attitudes have changed. Stacks are huge. Every hand could swing things in a big way. Not sure how believable a, a huge bet would be from Catherine as she's taken this I'm going to bed posture. <laughs> this does not look like a confident kind of posture. <laughs> but she has to feel like the only way she can win the hand is by putting out a healthy bet here. If you go into Ben and Jerry's and this is your posture for this long, I don't even think you're going to order anything. <laughs> It's a bit problematic to have a 10 and a 9 in your hand as well. Blocking draws that have missed. This might be a decent shutdown. It, it's it's not fun to, to just shut down and, and show down 10 high and lose the pot. But I would be concerned with the heart coming in and blocking the straights that you're hoping he has, the straight draws. Does she lose credibility the longer she takes? I don't know. I mean, they've only been playing together an hour. Perhaps she takes right. long every hand and then it would be fine. Um, I think so. I think it's really hard if she bets 200k now for him to fold his 8 because this just seems so odd. Well, again, I know we're in the money. I know it's the main event. But this is a two-minute tank mm -hmm. that she took. 250. Well, I like her sizing, though. Th this is one of those spots where, like, a small bet is just not going to get through. He'll curiosity call, and um, at least the sizing was good, even if the tanking was weird. Roles are reversed. He's just more likely to have flushes here, so this is a little bit a little bit unbelievable. The preflop raises are going to have some more pairs in their range than they're going to have um, suited cards, just in general. Um, and also, he's played passively, calling as if he's on a draw. I think if she just was on hearts, her turn sizing probably would have been a little bit bigger. And I just don't know if she would value bet we ace are in queen the or king queen right. like this. Just for bookkeeping, we're in the beginning of level three on the call. day. There is a sure. call. And he doesn't buy it either. And, you know, the sizing was good and the stab was good. But unfortunate for her, a diamond didn't come in. She would have gotten a healthy yeah. pot. And Amiri getting stronger, figuring exactly what Catherine was up to. And Catherine giving up a chunk of her stack down to below 700,000 now as Amiri hits almost 1.7 million. All right, boys are in seat nine and seat one. His homies in Sydney are cheering that one. Really well done by Amiri. As I mentioned, that's beginning the third level of the day. So they've been playing together a little bit. And uh, Amiri seems to be getting the best of it. Thanks to all of you who are tuning in to our free preview on YouTube. We'd love if you could hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to our channel for continued WSOP live coverage. Sign up for PokerGo.com. Use the promo code DAY4 for $20 off an annual plan. 
and the solve the for wide tournament summary. Look. Four days of play to go before the final table. A few champs are alive out there. Moneymaker, Kui Win, Martin like Jacobson. I like it. Race. There's always a little something 26. in the air, and Chris Moneymaker is making a deep run. What did you think I had? I'll keep it here at this secondary feature table. Eric Blair with Ace King. Better hand. A better hand? A better hand than you? Bill Nichols no, hand, don't you have. with a pocket pair and the raise. <coughs> raise. 80. Blair from Las Vegas. 2.2 million in live earnings. Began the day at 657,000. He spent a lot of his career playing online too, so I'm sure that number is way higher than yeah. it appears. Back to Nichols with it's his pocket uh, pair. He does make the call. All right, we'll get back to the sand in just a second. Something going on at the feature table. Chris Moneymaker has Swing Gruber all in for his tournament life. Waiting on action now from Lamb and Campello. Mm. Lamb with Got the in there also. Sean Swing Gruber. Shoving with six, five of clubs. Cool. Moneymaker Calls. made the call with tens. Wow, this is a really, really, really loose call. Kotoroja, yeah, with and he's seven, eight suited. He's going to be in trouble when Lamb decides to pop this again. Uh, yeah, eight, seven suited. Just feeling it? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Favorite hand, I Maybe don't know. Maybe plays cash mm. game one, two with eight, seven suited. I don't know, but. Did Lamb just? One player all in. Lamb just ball. folded queens? Oh my goodness, uh, if the graphics are correct, wow. That's oh, I'm Alex sorry, Lindsay. it's a flop. We didn't see the flop. Okay, this makes way more sense now. <laughs> Excuse me. I was looking at his pre-flop action. I was like, uh, what? Okay. There we go. Now we're caught up. Yes. <laughs> we'll go to Roja with bottom two pair. Moneymaker with an over pair in trouble. Betting 336. Swing Gruber with... Man, just three players with huge hands. Swing Gruber at risk. 32-year-old pro from Venice. He actually finished 20th in the main event online last year. Finished 18th in the 2020 WSOP online main event. Yeah, Swing Gruber flopping the bottom end of the straight. And Moneymaker just putting Gadaroha in and... I'm not really sure what I would do with bottom two here. This is a really gross spot to be in. There's flush draws out there as well. I just... We will show you the end of that hand that began on the secondary table. Yeah, I'm going to go for the best one there now. Shoot here. I don't know if Moneymaker thought he was bluffing, but he was. And now Moneymaker needs some help. Double up in the progress for Sean Swingruber. Waiting for one card to come. Jack or six to get us one player shorter. I know who's rooting for a straight card. <laughs> and there is <laughs> the man a who six. Just folded two pair. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Moneymaker is running money so pure. Yeah. First Moneymaker with the better straight on the right. river, eliminating Sean Swingrober from the main <laughs> event. Do you think they're going to pull us off the feature now that you're pulling shit like this? Not if you just keep knocking that one up. Oh, that's just, the oh, that's the just stunning. Sometimes you just feel <laughs> it's been a good three days. It's your time, and could it be Chris Moneymaker's time again? 
He seems so relaxed, no. confident in his game, been studying. Maybe he's got a different game. Whatever Chris has been doing is working. What a massive flop, and Queens just gets out of there. Two pairs straight right? and two over, over pairs. Crazy. Uh, so Chris Moneymaker with 1.8 million chips now. Yeah, I don't like the way Swing Gruber departed the table right there. Uh, he, he had to hold his ch uh, chair with I his right hand. Jeff, Generally, you want to do a, a, just a more athletic move away from the table. If we could see it again, I don't know I if the truck can give it to us again. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, you know what he should have done is get up before the river card, pack his bag, and yeah. then the river card's different. It changes the RNG completely. You've been in the poker world a little too long. <laughs> Phil Wright, the geologic consultant from Calgary. Opens the action with King he Queen. Had I'm sorry. Geological consultant. Yes, I'm not sure who he consults with. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call BS BS on this. You know, one consultant is BS by definition, and then two geological consultant. Is, is he doing consulting for the Earth? Gosh, we need it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take people like this for granted. You will poo-poo <laughs> consultant until you become a <laughs> consultant and find out what they pay per month, okay, Mr. Chad? Keep Lear with Jack's three bet, and now Jean-Christophe Guillet, an investor with ace queen of spades. This table's crazy so far. It's like if, th if every table is like this, this would be a four-day tournament. Right. Just trying to retire a bunch of players real quick. Ace queen under the muck. Back to Phil Wright, start of the day, 722,000. Added 100,000 to a stack. Uh oh, fumbled flop. It's got to be a little uncomfortable Checks. to be playing out of position, heads up, versus someone who won the 10K heads up bracelet in the past. Mm. Good point. We are a double bracelet winner. That's 75,000. does not want to hit his set right now. I think there's just enough for Wright to continue on this turn. He's got a gutter ball, two over cards, backdoor spades. There you go, spending other people's chips. Yep, I got none left. Call. He's going to stick around. Checks. Brick for right. Pretty safe card for Lair to, to barrel Checks. again, but he just checked behind pot control. Checks up or good. Let's just see if Wright will stab at this. Can't think his king high is good. Checks. Nope. When Lair decided that Jax was a two street hand, he elects to Bet river instead of turn. That's 115,000. It's Rabbit out there making the announcement on the bet at our feature table. On a fold from right. Pretty standard hand for Keith Lear. Yep. All right, so back to the secondary table. Second. Nichols. Oh, wow, we're still on this hand. I was sad we weren't going to see the end. Oh, well, <laughs> how could we you go. miss this? You got the set wow, of tens against sick. Broadway. Nichols s checking his set of tens over to Blair. Bet. 85. You don't feel quite as comfy with bottom set in a board like this. You know that Blair, when he three bets, has ace king in his range. He has both sets, queens and jacks. Good question. Raise all in. But yeah, call. set is just too strong. That is trouble. Nichols, oh, set of tens. Trail board, come Looking on. for the board to pair, exactly. It is Blair at risk with the shorter stack the and the better hand right now. He gets a full house the first hand dealt. <laughs> Two streets to come. An all in and a call. You're a king queen, God bless you. You deserve it. 
Eric Blair lives here in Las Vegas. Started the day with 657,000 chips. They're all at risk. So far, so good. Both these fellows cashed in the 2015 main event. Safe. Uh, there you go. Almost a million chip pot hitting Blair's way. I know the rest of the table is not rooting for Blair to win. He's a really accomplished player. Chance Corneth and Berkey are very familiar with him. And Eric Blair with the double up here. Flopping Broadway against the set of tens. Faded danger. 550 players left in the main event. That is amazing how quickly they go away. Jeff Platt, the fourth member of our broadcast out there. And Preston McEwen is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up and realize it's all a dream and then I'm gonna keep taking advantage of this surreal opportunity. Over two million chips, back to 10K big blinds. And let's get it out to Jeff right now. All right, one of the bigger stacks in the room belongs to Preston McEwen. Preston, stand up for me for a quick sec, please, my friend. Good to see you. How's it going, Jeff? It's going well, thank you. So min cash for you in 2019. Yep. What's the 2021 main event experience been like for you? A um, little bit of a roller coaster. Uh, we had a rough day yesterday. Start off strong, bag 360, I think. So a decent stack, 45 bigs or so. And then today just came in and immediately tripled up in a pretty pretty sick spot. I love this. I love this hoodie you're wearing. Tell us a bit about who you're playing for. Um, this is one of my good friends, uh, David Hendricks. Mm -hmm. He's uh, today's his birthday. He's 31, and he's the oldest person in America with a uh, condition called spinal muscular atrophy. Um, so I told him, you know, he sent me. He didn't even know I was playing the event. He's he's back home in Mississippi, and he just wanted to. He reached out to me this morning. I was like, man, I'm going to try to give you a birthday shout out if it if it comes down to it. So, uh, you know. He's going to get a kick out of this. He's a huge poker fan, so he's definitely watching. There's that birthday shout out. Thanks yeah. so much, Preston. Thank Appreciate you. the time. Yeah. Preston's got that Troy Palomalu look to him, doesn't he? Those well, beautiful, very flowing much locks. Very, very flowing. Never not working. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, just another setup on this secondary table. Um, Corneth also just. He has a reputation for being very loose. Um, however, he is making this four bet cold four bet from the big blind, which tends to be pretty strong. It's easy to just peel and see three a lot of the time, so maybe Berkey will get the hint. I know Jack-10 suited should hit the muck pretty easily. Amiri opening with a pretty hand. <laughs> Corda <laughs> just has one of those faces you just don't believe. <laughs> Amiri's like, Jack-10 suited could be good against this man. Mm -hmm. One more time. <laughs> No, oh, gonna fold again. Yeah, I guess I mean, they got you got a little history, I guess. Folds. And so now back to the three better, Berkey. Yeah, Berkey. This is very tempting to want to peel. You're in position. You're against a player who just doesn't need to have it, um, and you have Ace Queen off, which is a really good hand. Corneth might have some of those hands like Ace Five suited and the ones that are you know you mix in as a four bet bluff. Chance won his third bracelet this World Series. Matt Berkey still looking for his first piece of World Series jewelry. Mm -hmm. we, his, his site should be called Solve for Why Not. <laughs> Why have I not won a bracelet yet? <laughs> Why have I not discovered something serious and real yet? <laughs> Oh, he's going to play. Oh, no. So this is the problem, too, is that he's he a lot of chips. pretty much just made, like, the tightest fold ever with ace-jack on the trip ace board, right? He has been talking about it a little bit in between every hand, like, kicking himself for making the fold. Psychologically, it's so hard to make another good wow. fold right away. Yuck. Oh, huge five bet here. More than one-third of his stack has just been five bet into the middle, and, and Chance has got to love this. Uh, that hoodie. He looks like the emperor who would will Berkey to put the chips in the middle. Chance is one of those hybrid players who definitely works with Sims and, and pays a lot of attention to the new school poker, but he is a live read guy too. And do you see the little pump fake almost folding of the cards? He's definitely looking to catch something from Berkey when he's doing that. Boys have brought out the big guns here. The two All of the in. best. All in. All in. 
Two of the snap best. Up. What a move Berkey tried to make, but was caught at the wrong time. And Matt Berkey mm -hmm. cut down to 730,000. Hmm. Five bet Twice. bluffing basically Fuck. with ace queen off. I, <laughs> I think I prefer a flat if you're going to five bet what and you fold say, it. But so that's your tell. <laughs> yeah, she corner. One that got GPI, me to THM. Man, I probably should. That's why when you said do it when we're talking about it. <laughs> Chip leader <laughs> coaching, <laughs> three bracelets. <laughs> Much yes. happier guy with family. <laughs> Do it one more time. That's what that meant? Yes. Golf again? Yes. Oh, wow. They both coach. I probably should have just shoved. And I'll say again. Oh, baby. See solve for why not list to Couldn't somebody other than Matt Berkey. Uh, far from dead. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Norm might just be saying. removed you, you from the booth as we're now mocking a sponsor of this program. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I love Matt Berkey, actually. I, I would not mock him unless he's a good guy. No, I like him. I do miss the bow tie. Yeah, he used to be, he's much sportier than he used to be. Used I feel like Tony does the same bit, thing. They, yeah. they went from suits to, like, kind of casual. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Kuni means. These are long days. Oh. Yep. I can guess what a Kuni means. Or what? You said you said a hand that's never died, and I said a goonie. No, I'm not familiar with that term either. Goonies never die. I don't know. I didn't know that. It's the movie Goonies. Yeah, I haven't seen, seen it. Seen it. Oh, what? It's a classic. It's a classic. Who hasn't seen Goonies? I hope they bring us waters. Oh. Goonies. The movie? Yeah. Okay. One here. <laughs> he's right over there, so I think he's gonna be coming. The chance corneth up awesome. to almost 2.3 million. Chance started the day with 787,000. <laughs> Berkey Ray's one of the ace king, <coughs> Brant. Call 26. Calls from the big blind. Price is right to defend <laughs> him. Like a good that. thought, too. Matt might be and steaming, and, and you know, who knows? We got connectors. I love this shit. It's fun. <laughs> that miss. <laughs> Getting a little bit of deja vu. I think we played a very similar hand already. Check. Check. I don't think I'd want to be talking much with people who are very live read oriented. I think Berkey and Corneth are both in the live read streets. Queen's good for Berkey's range. Throw out a little bet and end his hand. That is 30,000. One green, one orange. One orange and one green. <laughs> the orange did hit first. That's what I'm saying. We've been over this. I'm over this. You know, in hockey, Lon, doesn't the third man into <laughs> a fight get tossed out or something? And this wasn't even a fight. Right. Okay. Oh, so she can come in. <laughs> I would like an instant replay on that. Let's see if the green maybe did it first. <laughs> Berkey with a little salve for the wound. The chance Corneth had brought upon him. Well, you can uh, see the four, the day four headliners. Josh Aria, Jason Kuhn. Seeing what chance can do. We know Lax can get... A day for a massage. Mike Madiso still hanging around. Petrangelo also. All dangerous players sprinkled throughout the Amazon room. Get inside the game even more with the Poker Go WSOP podcast. Join Remco Rinkema and Donnie Peters as they cover the latest from the world of poker. Find the Poker Go WSOP podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen. Just keep telling yourself that. All That's Mike Mattiso right. does is cash the main well, event. Always give someone that, that it's five times now this century, is. but we've had a guy this better. year, uh, Mark Zullo, who just cashed I for the fifth consecutive main event. Right. Wow. Which is a he record. He did it. That's a record, That's yeah. Yeah, he made Beating it into Ronnie money. Barta. Ronnie Barta oh. had that, yeah. Yeah, and I just called you two overcards. So good for him. That's uh, not sure of all of his caches, but spades, he's made profit with the main event. I gave you a free card, didn't I? You had two overcards and spades, didn't you? No, 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 I had a backdoor. <laughs> but what are the chances that I would wake up this morning and it would be... 
2003 all over again. 50-50. Hey, <laughs> 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 you pounded in our head. We're going to spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Event. But anyway, it's amazing, as yeah. you know, to see yeah. Chris Moneymaker here, seemingly a generation later, yep. yeah. on top of the main event. Yeah, Plus, I mean, he's the guy we talk about. Everyone yeah. talks about it. My, our, I've got a thread going with my buddy out in the field, and but they're all talking. Moneymaker's crushing it. He's on me. The Moneymaker's he taking over our thread. Too. He wasn't even going to come play this year. Yeah, it was That's surprised amazing. to see. Yeah. yeah, if they had not developed the, the vaccine uh, or okayed it for children, then he would not be here because he was worried about his kids. So they got them vaccinated. He came out here. Of course, he's vaccinated. He did not play any other event before this one. Good, good. Some final tables. He's queen. Still good here. Go to Roja. Not yet. Let though with backdoor straight cards and the ace of hearts. Have we had a player from Moldova here? This is the final table. Before I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I like your point of view. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> nice turn card yeah. for Goulette. Huh? Is it it's up a gutter ball and the nut flush draw. Good time to put I, a little like stab out there. Yeah. And by the way, the other beauty of Chris Moneymaker, and he, you know, this table's only been playing together for a little more than an hour, is he does make everyone else at the table comfortable. This table has been chatty since the beginning, and it's because of Moneymaker. It's, he's fun to play with, and he talks with everybody, and everybody just kind of loosens up. Oh, yeah. I had a great time. I played at um, PCA at the Bahamas with him, and he was sending Bahama Mamas to everyone at the table. <laughs> Bahama Mamas. <laughs> and we were playing relatively small PLO, and he was prop betting massively on black cards, red cards, and all that. Yeah. Fun guy. Know, but right. I'll find my way. Yeah. Chris has made his way around <laughs> the world, especially when he was with right. poker stars yeah, and yeah, did the yeah, yeah. platinum pass. I, he went to almost all of the stops, and it was just amazing to see where he was, and, the, and you really saw him shine as an ambassador. It wore him out, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he was on, um, on my podcast, and he talked about how he wanted to take a lot of time at home for family. He was going to travel a lot less. Um, as part of the reason he stepped away for poker stars because he just didn't want to be yeah, on exactly. the road as much. But it, it still to this day, you know, he came to Sacramento several times as well and played golf with him in a we had a poker golf slash event, you know, where you earn poker tips by playing golf and mm -hmm. uh, just the people that come out still to see Chris Moneymaker because he's Chris Moneymaker. It's amazing and it's beautiful. Nostalgia thing. is strong. I still have that for certain people, including mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> from oh. back in the day, just like Wait. watching it on TV when you love poker the most. I told you, tighten it up, Phil. All right, you can stay the rest of the day. I wouldn't want to be sitting there. Goodness, you get to see There, stepping out with this five high three bets, 82K. Really. Well, you tangled with the right just a moment ago. And mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Take my advice and do as you please. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good advice. I'm good at fold. Oof. Well, you heard Moneymaker mentioned earlier telling Jeff Platt that Lear will be very, very aggressive free flop mm -hmm. uh, and is actually a, a tight player otherwise. But there we saw a great example of him stepping out. Two and players out the pot. with almost 1.8 million at that feature table. I pity the rest who were sitting around. And how about Mr. Chidwick's? Saw him walking in, walked in the other day with him, looking very confident, very cool. Chris Mormon still has chips. One of my favorite players. Queen Wen has a stack also. Wow. Got the hat back. Got the hat back. Got to be doing something for him. Haven't heard him laugh or smile and walk by the table. He's all business. Akari. Andre, Andre Akari. Akari. Good player. And there's the mouth. <laughs> Complaining <smiling>. about something. <laughs> Not smiling. Jason Kuhn. He's got an adorable photo of his uh, baby, Caleb, that says, My dad made day four. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy has saying, I'm the lone sleeper pick left, full t-shirt. He is a lone legitimate sleeper pick left, Andy Wilson, 25-year-old. 
was once a great video gamer, now a great poker player. And he's sitting on 275,000. Earlier today, a couple of great gals we had, Sarah, Stefan, and Chris Reed were both eliminated. They made a great, great run. Getting into the money, three of my 16 sleepers made into the money. We have supplemental Jamie Kerr set of sleeper picks. All right, <laughs> she backed Matt Ernst because we loved his little Shawshank <laughs> application to me. So we're going to give her that, and we're going to give David Lappin, who she she pulled for, but I didn't want to let him in because he's a day two registrant. But hey, it was hard to get over here from England. So we're going to give you both Matt Ernst and David Lappin. I appreciate it. I appreciate you giving me the win just like that because those guys are going far. Did you see the picture of Lappin he put out on Twitter after when the yeah, money bubble hit? It's like, oh, yeah. what are you tired about? You entered late. Well, you shouldn't be tired. <laughs> Actually, he did complain that, that, understandably, he had jet lag coming from London. He, he was falling asleep at the table at the end of day two. So he still seemed a little little too lax right yeah. there, but he was very tired. A good mix. A high. Well, nobody falls asleep when reading one of his uh, well-researched articles. Yep. By the way, so Matt Ernst uh, gave us the Shawshank application, which we found to be hilarious. What are the chances that on day three, and you can't make this up, you can go look at it at the World Series site, his day three seating assignment, he was next to Shawshank Jane, no. J-A-I-N from New Delhi, for real. I mean, this is not possible. It's That's random, right? Crazy. Of course it's random. <laughs> what do you, what do you, people want to poker. Oh, let's put them extra Shawshank. It's not possible. And it happened. What are the chances? 50-50. And that guy is from Sewataneo. <laughs> Would you be nice enough to take 25 of these yellows off of me? Yes. Cool. Yeah, there were some players complaining about the color up because they wanted to make chip castles. It did look really cool. I'm with them. I mean, it's like a minor complaint from this really well-run tournament, but it was really cool to see massive stacks being moved. Mm -hmm. You have the floor guy behind you with five racks. You're right. Very intimidating. I mean, there's you know, there's arguments both ways. I mean, you got to get rid of them sometime. To get a different seat. Three-way action. I would. I just enjoy your company and the band tonight. I don't care if I lose all my chips. I would pay to change seats with them just so I could have your ears. You're giving me the ultimate. Bottom pair for I like to let checks. Check with a pocket fives and with the best hand. Go to Roger. Checks as well. Another spade on the turn. You realize day four WSOP, there's not going to be a whole lot of easy seats up in this room left. Grovin's hand with a lot of potential, especially since Scott Oroga has to feel a little uncomfortable with the ace on board getting value right now. That's why he's been smiling all day. Yeah. <laughs> Colette, though, is the one who's putting together some chips to bluff at this. 50. Just third pair with no spades. It may work, though, with the ace high board. If it was allowed, um, not as much as you would think, mm -hmm. but enough. He'd pay 5K. Looking at Scroven, who got it in yesterday with ace king to aces, ace queen four flop, jack 10. Nice. So he is on borrowed time. There's no better feeling in a poker tournament to be on borrowed time and still in the main event. That's good to know. I wouldn't take it. So Dr. Scroven, PhD in physics, fold it. Well, well timed bluff. There you go. That is on the board. Made the difference for Jean-Christophe Guillet. Or Guillet, as he may be calling himself. And we get over to secondary table once again. Nichols is all in with ace queen. Corneth looking to pick up more chips with the Jacks. We have an all in on the call. Julie Fostick from Phoenix, Arizona will deal the action. Nine high, the Jacks still good. You see Nichols outs. Dwindling. Yep. Take a couple of outs away. One card to come. It is the tray of hearts, and that'll be the end of Nichols as he goes away. You have that hand? Missing the entire uh, no, way. Just cold decked, right? Bottom set versus flop Broadway, and then this. Mm. Two hands, and he's gone. 38-year-old from Beaverton, Oregon. Was a tow truck, is a tow truck driver. My, my niece Jennifer, my niece Jennifer uh, met her first husband when she needed to get a tow. That marriage did not work out, so I am morally obliged to be anti- Tow truck driver for the rest of my life. 
Put him back in the square. Nothing He's against him, though. No. He was a nice guy, Bill Nichols. I showed the discipline that is... Uh, that I have. I, I displayed my one-handed discipline. Moneymaker doing his best to build the chip castles. We have a... Oh, there it is. So strange. Uh, this Moneymaker. And we'll go back to the secondary table. Ernst all in with the ace jack of spades. No. Blair. Oh, he's ahead, though. Made the call, yeah. He's in good shape. Blair calling with queen jack of clubs. No clubs. I think they'll get in trouble for this. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I was just about to say your statement. Got no outs for claw. Blair. <laughs> yeah, sweaty turn. Nice fade. Nice no. Welcome back to the main Go, Ace Jack. So. Sticks around. This is my dream. Matt Ernst <laughs> from Lexington, <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> works in sales <laughs> as a territory <laughs> manager yeah. for a distributor <laughs> in the like, dental market. When you're only what the heck is that? Kind of Who knows? <laughs> what do you mean you might have just bought Well, I mean, you have uh, product. And that's what he says. All right, coming over to that table well, is the aforementioned Jason Kuhn. Oh my god, the table's just getting worse and worse. Isn't it though? Oof. Yeah. Blair, Corner, Berkey, Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the toughest table in the room. Just as online earnings go, it has to be the highest. Well, why does he have a chip runner? How come he, he, he drinks coffee while somebody's got to bring his chips over? That doesn't usually happen. That's a good point. You, you, you move had a caddy? Yeah. And that, right, oh, that's a tips. gift bag. It's a Jason Kuhn gift bag. Exactly. He's <laughs> the only one to get that. There's like a, a yeah, there's green M&Ms only in there. That's his diva request. <laughs> All right, so they're going to uh, put a mic on Jason. Just just so you know, point of order, that he is not missing a hand. If he were being dealt in right now, we would let him go to the table uh, and mic him up later. But he checked the table. Nothing being dealt to him. So I don't like his chances for that 11-second 100 meter. He walked pretty slowly. He didn't have to carry You're the, the chips or anything. could do it. You convinced me. I didn't believe you. I talked to him, and I went over to your side. <laughs> and now you don't like his chances? See, look. He's just sauntering. He's got the backpack on. Raise. No one at this table is happy to see this man. You joining us? <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. It's fun. Fair trade. Yeah, that was a random. <laughs> Fair trade. That was a random seat card yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's going to order right. more chips, I think. Yeah, this seems unfair. You're at a feature table to begin with, which is always a little more difficult to, to navigate. You already have Chance Corneth uh, and Eric Blair and Matt Berkey. No chance. No chance. It's supposed to be random. Oh, my God. Chips. Hello. Where are my chips? That's not a fair trade. Oh, same, same. Yeah, same player. Jason, much like the last guy, only plays tens. Right? Tens plus? What do you mean? Check. You're no right. ace, no queen. Tens plus. Where? Where? Hurts, chips. Here? Oh, because you're replacing the last guy. All positions. <laughs> Good and honest. How do you think you get those chips? Yeah, I'm just playing ten. I'm a jack plus type of guy. So mm -hmm. catching up to this hand, Blair raised to 25k and Brandt oh, three bet to 55k. Really small three bet with her threes. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Blair, that has to look pretty strong though. I'd I would think that this is an overpair uh, majority of the time with such a small three bet. And he's with this flop, so she's going to win. Jack, you like your seat? Very good spot. <laughs> what you signed up for? I lost the microphone. No, so it wasn't too win. long ago that yeah. Jason <laughs> Kuhn did win his very first World that. Series of Poker sure, bracelet, yeah, and it actually happened right at this very table, and he was a very happy camper. Come on, baby. There's a jack. Scott, just hold, Scott. There's the river. It's a six, and Jason Kuhn has won his first World Series of Poker bracelet. Somebody take this monkey off of my back and throw. Sprint to poker fame, originally from West Virginia. Graduated college, which was nice to see. Cashed twice in his first World Series, and started hitting it big time. A 
the child this year. Uh, Seems very content with his world and playing maybe some of the best. He poker. graduated in 08, I assume. Yeah, you know how certain younger. players have certain golf courses they play Raised better on, where they like certain bowling centers. I wonder, he obviously, he's got to have a fond memory now for this table and think Ooh, that only good things oops. are going to happen Cardi that close. he won that bracelet okay. on this Jack exact nine. table. Exposed and in the muck. Whether it's true or not, you just have that Cards comfort level. I mean, is fine too. it used to be, you know, hockey rinks were different sizes, different lengths, and uh, oh. the great old ones that were different. Now they're all standard size, but you still somehow got that home I ice advantage. I can put my Same thing with no. any other sport. Uh, yeah, it's changed yeah, in hockey. They, uh, uh, in women play. even are allowed on skates now, and it just changes the whole dynamic oh, nice. of what was <laughs> really just maybe <laughs> the most beautiful <laughs> game. It makes it way better, just like poker. I agree. It's a good change, as he, as he mentioned. Yeah. Check. <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah, we were wandering uh, for the uh, show here today, and just a very casual count of, of under 10 women, I think, mm -hmm. left in, in the main event right now. And we're around, what was the last number, about 500? Yeah. A little over A couple 500. of them have good Bet. stacks, though. They do. So and it was an overnight chip leader. Uh, yep. when Jessica the money. Kai, yeah, I think? Jessica Kai, yes. yes. From West Palm we Beach. We got some hope. Raise to 80,000. Oh, baby. Well, he did hit the flop. Coon check raising. The hand that's very vulnerable, it needs some protection. Chance is ahead right now, though, and I don't see him folding just yet. <laughs> that's why this caption this moment. Really, Jason? Call. Jason's still way behind. Four to one dog now. Check. Ooh. Chance at the decision now if he wants the pot control and try to show down these fives. Or put some money in the pot and really put Kuhn to the test. And Chance usually just does grab for the chips. Bet. 77,000. Small bet of about one third pot in position. Sometimes to me this looks like a player who's just trying to buy a river check from his out of position opponent. Oh. Kuhn with just enough to stick Sorry around. Well, Jason better have some plan for the river. Should just go check, 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 check. Yep, it does. Yeah. I hit it. I didn't need to. Each player is just enough. Mm. And the richest gets richer. Kuhn brought 1.7 million to the table and hands up some chips to Chance Corner. Well, Poker Goes Free YouTube video preview will be ending shortly for more live coverage of the World Series, plus on-demand access to high-stakes poker, poker after dark, and so much more. Become a PokerGo.com subscriber. Use the promo code DAY4 for $20 off an annual plan. Uh, it's a son, uh, seven weeks. All right, once again, let uh, got a two-and-a-half-year-old and a, a ten-month-old, so. All right. We decided at the beginning of the year we wanted to start trying, and then in like three weeks she was pregnant, and we were like, whoa, that, that stuff works. And uh, next thing you know, uh, we had a son, Callum. Um, he's almost seven weeks old now, which is insane. It's been such a blur, but uh, it's, it's, it's been as good as they say it, say it would be. Well, happy camper now. He just walks around no smiling more than really usual much, so. as fatherhood will do as for you. And the just showing anybody who comes up to him. Let, let me show you another baby picture. We get the lucky side of the coin on that. Being we'll check, it, check in with him uh, in the teenage years. See how he's feeling about that. Sure well, I tell you, that kid door, so Ryan it looks like he could be on the cover of GQ so already. Is that right? Yeah. So he is <laughs> cute. You know, most most babies are just ugly as all get out. And <laughs> this one was so cute. If I knew somebody at GQ, I'd get him on the cover within a year. 
You sound like you have a piece of that baby or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 515 players left. Can you imagine if Norm's like a, a baby talent manager or something? <laughs> oh, He's actually, no, uh, the first the first surprising thing I learned about Norman Chapman working with him uh, all these years. IQ is above 100? That was the second. The first thing <laughs> was that he is so good with kids. He loves kids and kids love him. Hmm. I could see that. I've seen Norm with dogs. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's not such a far leap. Similar thing, yeah. Jason, same hand. Blind on blind. Eric uh, Blair. It's quite unfortunate to have 500 people left in the main, and your blind versus blind battles will be Eric Blair and Jason Kuhn. Oh, this, this is going to be a fun table to watch. This yep. is going to be a poker clinic, a high-level action that we've already seen, and the huge hand that went down between Chance and uh, Matt were, was amazing. Is your family here with you? Are they what? Here with you. No. My wife's holding down the fort. One big blind oh, from Kuhn to deny what a Blair his 14% <laughs> equity. She's, she's a trooper. It's hard all by yourself. It is. She gets a little she bit She's got some help. My parents are helping yeah. out a little bit. And Eric Blair. The babysitter helps some. Oh, nice Kuhn though. hoping he's finally figured out the main event. He had only cashed once before this, uh, 660th back in 2011. He's played about a dozen main events. So this is by far his best result. Chips in play. Green ones worth 25k. Of course, the she orange. She knew she was getting into. Five pin yellow, one k. If there's gonna be poker trips in the future. Got rid of the 500s <laughs> and 100s. Just set that in stone early on. That's the way it is. How many trips you get a year? Um, I'd probably do. I don't know, five or six circuit stops, and then the WSOP, and then smaller stuff too. So a reasonable amount. Yeah. Yeah. It depends. Depends on what's going on. Matt Ernst, you hear talking, does play a lot of circuit events. He said one of the I'm unusual things he found about the dental industry, industry which I oh, never yeah. noticed. Is that My daughter, everybody, thing. Dentists, they all work four days a week. Old, yeah. So it gives them extra mm -hmm. weekend time yeah. to, mm. to go That's travel the circuit uh, in addition to his dental sales business. Is that true? They just work four daughter. days a week? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Huh. He said it's, it's like a Bigger. open Braxton secret. Madison. Nobody seems to know. It's a four-day week. Madison is one of the names I like to figure Really? Yeah. Raise 27, and it's still supposedly the profession with the highest rate of depression, even with the three-day weekends. Well, I guess if your hands are in somebody's <laughs> mouth all day with sharp <laughs> instruments, maybe you do have some type of guilt yeah. working there. Yep. I don't know. but yeah, No one's happy to see you. Like nobody, No one goes to the I, dentist correct. like, yes, the dentist. Mm, yeah. yeah, that could be part of it. We'll see Jack Oliver in a hand for the first time. 26-year-old, born in Canada. Ops to fly the Great Britain flag when he is asked. Going against Chance Cornet, Oliver. Starting a hand with 1.4 million. Chance took a shot with suited cards. Doesn't come through. Oliver will pick up a few more. What's funny is we, we named her Madison before Big we really even looked at the name. Big what poker talent. It means son of Matthew, and I'm Matt. Oh, wow. So That's it's amazing. It's incredible. Wow. It's just meant to be, yeah. The only reason I liked it, I think, oh, one of the reasons, I guess, I think it sounds pretty too, but my, uh, my dad always said if he had a girl, he was going to be Madison. Yeah. It used to be a more popular guy's name. Oh, really? But now it's really switched over girls. Because yeah. Maddie is such a cute nickname. There's also a lot of guys named Madison opinion. out there. Like the pitcher, Madison Bumgardner. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm here occasionally. I yeah, nobody can argue with Maddie. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's really here. So you take that to you named your daughter Madison? Yeah. Hmm? So you named your daughter Madison? No, we named her Ryan, actually. Ryan? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's another name that can What's go both ways. Yeah. What did you say? Middle name? Joseph. How long have you lived there, Grandma? Oh, I moved here in 2009, but I've been all over since, you know. Under feminine middle name. Yeah. Really nice I've like been the, everywhere, man. How old is she? I like the mixed uh, first names, you know? In your favorite place? Um, she's then. December 18th, baby. Uh, so oh, it's really December 16th, my yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Should have coming up on a little bit. Yeah, probably really cool. Two weeks to get here. It's funny. Or go somewhere for two weeks. Canada or Mexico. I chose Canada. I probably should have gone to my Google. But I don't want to say don't trust Jason Kuhn, but we've had him on the feature tables a few times now. This is the third time I've heard somebody asking him how long you live here, blah, blah. It's the third different answer he's given. <laughs> 
so he's he always working just, an angle. Just, just just an Brent has something to work with in a blind on blind situation after Chance just called from the small. Gonna have to bump this up, just the size is what you have to worry about. So I go somewhere around 40K. I was saying, I'm trying to figure out how many big blinds I have. What do you mean? Want me to help? Like, yeah. You want me to help? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is adorable. That looks hard. It's hard. It's like, yeah, 40. like 28. 740. So, so. 60. 60. 60? Ish. 60-ish. Oh, I'm sorry. Grant has 740. I'm looking at Ernst. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wait to, uh, wait to fly the hours today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is a spot where I would just have a standard race size when it gets lumped to me of somewhere around 3.5x to 4x. 62,000. She goes for a large size, a little over five times the big blind. Chance is such a bad hand, just going to lay it down. She looks pretty confident doing it right. and staring back. Well, that was pretty sure you and <laughs> still waited a minute pre flop <laughs> to make that decision, so, so she, she does right amount appear to be yeah, very deliberate. Desired, uh, I won't do that again. This is an intimidating <laughs> spot to be in. She's got 44K in earnings. Oh, and she's sitting at a table again. with multiple people in the millions. <laughs> Sorry, it was a good one. Murderer's right. row. Yeah. All around. I don't fall for people all the time. Not doing it again. Nah, you said that. Listen, awesome. sweetie, oh. you got to put on your big boy <laughs> pants sometimes uh, when you're in the spotlight we're, we're, uh, close. or your big gal like pants Alouette. and just move uh, with some alacrity. You can look up alacrity. Like a move with some alacrity. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, oh, okay, okay. Was... Poker Go, the ultimate destination for everything poker. Tournaments. On the river to heart! Cash games. Oh, she showed Whoa. it! Grudge matches. You look stupid to everybody. Lifestyle and content you can't find anywhere else. Target. Score. Watch live or whenever you want. Take a look around. You'll like what you find. Unlock the poker world only on Poker Go.